today I have for you my Amazon Prime Day purchase haul. I don't know. That's like such a weird thing to say. But yes, today I'm going to be showing you everything that I purchased on Amazon throughout the Prime Day, which was last week, I want to say. Right now I'm filming on the 23rd, and I believe it was the 15th and the 16th, so, so it was like last Monday and Tuesday, I'm pretty sure. And to be honest, I went a little bit crazy. Um, most of the things that I was watching and ended up purchasing was fashion, but I did get some things for the house. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing what I did pick up from Amazon throughout Prime Day, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, and also, I'm going to have everything linked in the description bar below, so if you are interested in any of the products that I am mentioning, they will be linked below. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is the home stuff, and then just the recipe fashion, because there's a lot more fashion than anything. So, one of the deals was... Uh, the Ring doorbell with a free Amazon Echo Dot, and I believe it was $69.99, so we did get that. So the only thing that did come in the mail so far was the Echo Dot. Um, the Ring is actually a little bit delayed. I did know that it was going to be not sent to me right away, so that's the only reason why I don't have it. Um, initially, in my email, I said that it said I wasn't going to get it until like the end of August, early September, but I'm actually supposed to be getting it later this week, but I was way too impatient that I just wanted to film today. So yeah, we did get that, and I just thought it was too good of a deal. If you don't know, Connor, my husband, and I, we are buying it, or building a house, actually, and we were interested in getting the Ring security system, and all of the security systems require that doorbell, so it just made sense to buy it because it was such a great deal. So, and this was just an added-on feature, so really, really excited about this purchase. Okay. And the next thing that I got, I got an inspiration from one of my friends on in Vegas, her name is Joanne. She has a pretty awesome Instagram account. If you follow any of my Ray Dunn um, videos, she is a Ray Dunner, so that's kind of how we connected. And she has just the most gorgeous, gorgeous house. And she just renovated her her half bath, and I really liked her what like what she did. So I kind of wanted to like feed off of that a little bit. And there was actually a pretty good deal on these prints. So these are prints. There was four, and I believe it was for like $5.95. And they're just prints. Um, so I'm just going to get like some, um, what are they called? Frames from like the Dollar Tree just because I think, I think that it, it would look nice. So they look like this, and I just think that they're so cute. So this one says no selfies in the bathroom, and this one says enjoy your poop, which I say to Connor every morning, no joke. The next one says please remain seated for the entire performance, and the last one says wash your hands, you filthy animal. I do like all of these, however, I don't know if I'm going to put all four of them in one bathroom just because... All of the font is very similar and I feel like that might just be a little too much. But I did want to get them so maybe I can put two in one, one half bath and maybe like one in the master and one in the second full bath. I'm not too entirely sure but I really did like these and I thought it was too good of a deal to not pick up. Okay and I think that's everything for the house. I didn't really get much. Yeah. So the next portion is all fashion but the first I did do one accessory so I'm going to show you guys that first. I don't know if you guys are aware of this but there is this website called Shop I Love Jewelry and they're, they come up sponsored on my Instagram all the time and they had a really cute like rhinestone necklace and I absolutely loved it but it was like $18 so I was like hmm I'm sure Amazon has a great dupe and they do have a pretty good one and this is what it looks like and it's just the A. I haven't taken it out or put it on or anything. You know what? Let's try and do that now. I thought it was really really cute it's a lot different than the stuff that I usually wear because I really like dainty jewelry but I thought this was really cute like a really cute fashion piece so I, I like it I think it's cute so let's see how it fits so it's got a couple of lengths so you can make it shorter or longer so it does kind of lay a little long but well just like from what I just had but I, I think that's so cute I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's adorable. Kind of spruces up like just a plain old outfit. Kind of like this. So yeah, that is the one and only accessory that I did pick up. And then the rest is fashion. So I do vlog and I put up vlogs sometimes. And a couple weeks ago, I ended up clearing out a crap ton of clothes. So I felt like I just needed to go shopping a little bit. So that's exactly what I decided to do and take advantage of Amazon Prime. So the first dress, and I'm actually going to have 
some triad portion over here. The first dress, I'm out of breath. The first dress that I got is this white and red striped maxi with this cute little collar and I just think this is so precious. It can be a little see-through, but as long as you wear like the right um, you know, undergarments, I think you should be fine. I did wear this this past weekend and I am 5'1" on a good day so this is kind of long so what I did is I just tied it in the front and I think it actually worked out perfectly for me and I just I loved it this is probably my favorite purchase that I got from the Amazon haul but yeah I just I really like it so if you're looking for a nice cute inexpensive sundress I would definitely suggest this one it's just gonna be kind of everywhere I did get a lot of dresses and then I got some lounge stuff that's pretty much it. So the next thing that I got were these camo joggers and they did have the string in here but they fell out and on the model these looked great and honestly I could probably get away with them but the only way that they would sit on me is like super high waisted like almost up to the girl just because of how tight this elastic is which I can appreciate but my muffin top does not. Let's just put that out there. I show you in the clip that it just kind of creates, it's just so tight around like the hip area. For me, I have to have it sitting up high-waisted. So I I like these, but for them to just sit up on my waist like that, I just don't know how comfortable that would be all day. So I'm just, I'm debating whether or not I want to keep these. <sighs> Comment below, let me know if I should keep these or not. But I really, really like them. I like the concept of them. Um, and they're very, very, very soft. So... I don't know. And they do have the the jogger like on the bottom. So I don't know. I'm still really indecisive about these. I really like them, but I just don't like the way that they, I just don't like how tight that they are. You know, chunky girl problems. Okay. Okay. So the next item that I got, I really, really, really like. It is this Adidas sweater. And I can tell you right now that this is $25 because I knew I don't know. I just thought it was cool. So it has Adidas on the left and the right arm. It spells it out and it's just like a plain white, I don't know, sweater. And I just, I love crew necks. I'm a, I'm a huge crew neck girl. So I saw this and I liked it. So I wanted to buy it for myself. So this is probably one of the items that I definitely am keeping. Um, I thought it was a great deal. Like I said, 25 bucks and I just like the way, I just thought it was really cool how they had the Adidas on the arm. So just call me Sporty Spice, okay? Okay, so the next item that I got, I'm definitely returning because it is freaking huge. I'm a size medium, um, and so I got a medium in this, and it is so freaking long, and it's just, it's just really, really big. It's just one of those open face cardigans. It doesn't have any buttons or anything on it. It does have the sleeves. This is a navy. It's coming off kind of black, but it's definitely navy. And honestly, I... It looks really nice on the model, but I was trying to go outside of my comfort zone because I don't really wear long cardigans, but this looked cute on the model, and honestly, I just, it's just not me. So I'm definitely going to be returning this, but it is a great material. I will say that. Um, like I said, I'm a true medium, and this fit a little big, so you could probably get away with sizing down if you are interested in buying it. I, like I said, I do like this cardigan. It's just way too big for me and it's just, I tried going outside of my comfort zone and I just, I just don't like it. But it is cute, I just don't like it for my personal style. All right, so I think I just have three more items and we'll be getting going. So I got this little pink jumper and this thing is so incredibly soft. I think it is adorable. You know, the model was a heck of a lot better in it than me, but it's very, very thin, so it, you can't really wear it out in public. I would honestly suggest just wearing it around the house if you decide to pick it up. Um, like I said, it's very, very, very soft, um, but it sits a little weird. It makes me look like I have a dumpy butt, and it's just not really flattering, at least on me. I guess if you're a little bit thicker, I mean, I feel like I'm pretty thick. And by thick I mean chunky. It just doesn't just doesn't look good on me. Um, but you know, if you can fill it out, I definitely think that this would be a cute item. It just didn't work for me. And like I said, it's very thin. It's very see-through, so it's really just like an at-home outfit, if anything. So cute, but it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Okay, so the next dress I 
absolutely loved. No, I do love it. I love the pattern. I absolutely love this dress, actually. And it is this dress. I love the um, the pattern on it. It kind of reminds me of Southern Charm. And I'm addicted to that show, if you have not known that. But yes, I do like this. It's very, it's very stretchy. It's very soft. Uh, it is a little see-through, though. So if you do decide to get this dress, I definitely suggest wearing a slip underneath. Just in case you're wearing, like, bright, bright pink panties and... It's just going to show, it's just going to show it off. But it has pockets and I love that. And I just, I love the print. I love the color. I really like this dress. The only downfall is it's just a little thing. You got to wear uh, a slip with it. So I would suggest getting this dress. Very, very affordable and very cute. So definitely love this dress. Okay, and the last and final item is yet another dress. I told you I bought a lot of dresses and I love this dress so much. This is another dress you're definitely going to have to wear a slip with, but it is so cute and it's this cute little polka dot dress. It's got a button in the back and it's kind of like a high-low dress and it has like this separate little ruffle on the bottom and this dress is so stinking cute. I don't know, I've just been really um, attracted to blues lately pretty much any shade and I love this dress it's very soft and very it's very silky smooth to be 100% honest um I just love it it's such a it's such a cute dress um if you like I said you I would definitely get this just gotta wear a sli uh, slip underneath but I love this dress too Alright guys, and that's everything that I picked up during the Amazon Prime Day sale. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are interested in any of the products or fashion items that I mentioned, I will, like I said, link them down below. And comment below if you would suggest keep, like your thoughts on the pieces. Because again, I'm still kind of up in the air about a lot of them. I don't know which ones I want to keep, which ones I'm not. But yeah, um... I do like a lot of them, but a lot of them are duds for me as well. So just comment below your opinions. I'm just curious to see how you like them on me because I did have that try on portion of the clips. Also, I'm considering doing an Amazon series on my channel. I've been buying a lot from Amazon. I like finding cheaper alternatives and I just like to find like, you know, the the diamond and the roughs on there. So also comment below and let me know if you would be interested in me starting an Amazon series. Just curious. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.